Hello friends, this video on nutrition in plants part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now a very interesting question. Photosynthesis produces carbohydrates. That's what we saw. That the only product that is obtained from photosynthesis is glucose, which is again a carbohydrate. And the glucose gets converted into starch and it is stored inside the plant. So starch is also a carbohydrate. But while we were talking about the nutrients, we were talking about many other nutrients as well. For example, we were talking about vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, so many other things. So how do plants get the other nutrients? Because photosynthesis is only able to provide it carbohydrates. So what about other nutrients? So now we will talk about the various ways by which plants get different nutrients. So the first method is photosynthesis by which it prepares its own food. And what, which type of nutrient the plant get from photosynthesis? It gets carbohydrates. Now what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are those substances which contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, these three things are obtained from carbon carbohydrates. The next source from where it gets nutrients is the soil. Now soil contains a lot of minerals which are important for plant growth and development. So if you talk about the minerals which are present in soil, there are phosphorus, Phosphorus, nitrogen, sulfur, potassium, magnesium, calcium and so on. So there are a lot of minerals which are present in dissolved form because soil contains water and dissolved in that water are present all these minerals and how do plants take them? It take the plant gets them through their root hairs. So if you look at the roots of the plants, the roots also develop tiny hairs like this. So these are, this will be like so these are the root hairs. So these hairs will absorb the water from the soil and this water will contain a lot of minerals in dissolved forms. Now some of these minerals are needed by the plants in small quantities and they are called micronutrients whereas some minerals are needed in large quantities and they are called macronutrients. So soil is a reservoir of both micro and macronutrients for the plants. So that is why you see the quality of the plant directly depends on the quality of the soil. That is why you would have observed that even in your garden, uh, if you want to improve the quality of the plant, you also need to take care of the soil. Sometimes people add manure to the soil, people add fertilizers to the soil. And why do they do that? Because they want to enrich the soil with more nutrients. So soil is one very important source from where plants get a lot of nutrients. Third is nitrogen fixing bacteria. How these bacteria help plants? Now nitrogen is a macronutrient for plants. Now nitrogen doesn't exist in soil naturally. Where is nitrogen present naturally? A lot of nitrogen is present in gaseous form in the air. If you look at the composition of uh, air in the atmosphere, the air contains 78% of nitrogen. That is a big number. So a lot of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere. But unfortunately, plants cannot take in nitrogen from the atmosphere. So we need something which can convert this atmospheric nitrogen and fix them into the soil. So if the same nitrogen is made available in the soil, then the plants can take it directly from the soil. So that job is done by these nitrogen fixing bacteria. So there are certain bacteria, what do they do? They just convert the atmospheric nitrogen from the atmosphere and fix them into the soil. And this nitrogen in turn is taken up by the plants. So they convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen in the soil. So in the form of some nitrogenous compounds that is nitrogen containing compound in the soil and then from the soil it is taken up by the plants. So these nitrogen fixing bacteria are also very important for plants. The fourth source is fertilizers. So these fertilizers are chemical substances which enrich the soil with a lot of nutrients. Just now I was talking about improving the quality of plants. So whenever you have to improve the quality of plant, you would have seen that farmers or the gardeners, they tend to apply fertilizer to the soil because these fertilizer will add, give some additional nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, sodium, potassium. So all these additional 
things will be added to the soil so that's how the quality of the soil will improve and the plants will also get those nutrients so these are some of the ways by which plants get a variety of nutrients which are needed for their growth and development thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates Thank you once again.